friend Shravasti and I started PhDs of India, we didn't envision that it would be liked by so many people. I still remember it was 1st May that we had conducted our first interview and immediately after I wrote the story because I couldn't contain the excitement. Many told us to wait, give the idea some more thought and then go about it but I personally believed unless we share the idea with the public we would never know if it would resonate with them. And so we waited for two days, we did listen to the people and published our first story on 3rd May. The first story itself got more than 100 likes. I was over the moon and with each story that came out after that and seeing the idea conceptualizing so beautifully, I don't think I have ever felt happier than that. Now I get these messages regularly from strangers saying that PhDs of India has been really inspirational for them that it has helped them make some academic choices and decisions and have made them feel that they are not alone in this journey. And I think that was our goal and seeing it come to life is overwhelming. It doesn't feel like that a year has passed already. I still feel it was the other day that I was talking to Shravasti about it. Now it's like really a nostalgic feeling. So thank you so much for all the love and support that you have given us and helped us grow. We hope to continue bringing more stories and build a community of researchers who not only belong to various fields, institutes or universities of the country, but is also inclusive and embraces humanity. People say sky is the limit. I think there is no limit. You can't define a limit. So just go out there and chase those crazy dreams of yours. And if you're into a PhD, you have already taken the first bold step. So be on it. Thank you.